Hello friends, welcome to Define Agile, where we talk everything Agile. My name is Anatoly, and before we start, a couple things. If you guys want to learn Jira very, very quickly, in about one day I have a course, go to a Get Help section of the description for the video, and then you'll find the link. Or if you're stuck and you want me or somebody from my team help you, guide you, you can have a one-on-one with us, and you just go to Get Help and go to Calendar link and schedule it. So that's all things that I can help you with, but right now let's look at what is a sprint report and how to read a sprint report. So when you click on complete sprint, you'll be automatically redirected to a thing called sprint report where it will show you everything about the sprint. My sprint was pretty easy. It was from May 19 to May 30, and uh, I have only two stories. And also I did not do it right, so I'll show you um, how to read this. This is called a burn down chart. And the burn down chart shows you how are you burning through your uh, stories. So you go to your stories and you estimate your stories. If they're all estimated beforehand, you will see something like two, two. But here, when you look at the stories, it says nothing to two, which means somebody put an estimate after the sprint is started, which is a not good thing to do. But you can always see that in here. Or if I change two story points to five story points, it'll be two to five. So this is how you read this. You look at complete issues and you might say, uh, why did we guys, then you meet with your team, let's say the sprint review and you have this open and then you might say, why did we not estimate those two stories beforehand? Why it was nothing and now it's two or why it was five and now it's eight. So you can always see that. And then you look at your complete issues and if I don't complete something, it will also show non-complete issues. So you can go through the list with your team and say, why didn't we not complete this or that or that? And then you can look at the summary and then you can guys talk for that. And uh, this is a good way for sprint review uh, on sprint review to go for everything because it shows you everything at a glance and then this is a very important chart so essentially it should usually start from somewhere at the top i'll show you the one that is correct uh so this will be a pretty normal chart you start at let me just zoom that in i just found it in google because i don't have in my test ones the good example but you start with the 50 story points and then you go uh, on november 2nd you've started your sprint and then hope you added something to a sprint, so maybe one point, it goes up, and then you complete it, it goes down, so up and down, and then slowly but surely you burn down for them, now you completed some more, it goes down, maybe you added some more, and every time you add something, you can look with your team and say, why did we add things to here? Because ideally, we should not anything in the middle of the sprint, we should just complete things. And see, this line is how ideally it should go, so you're slowly moving, the uh, grayed out area is just a weekend. So if you touch that line every day, it means you're, except from the weekend because it's flat, you're going very well. Here it means that they completed a lot at the end. So they a lot completed at the end. Still not zero. So there's some, I'm sure there are some stories, we cannot see it, but there are some stories not completed. And since it doesn't touch the line, it's definitely, uh, there's not enough completed here and then they start going at the end so you can sit with your team and say why did we not complete anything here was all the stories too big and if they were too big maybe we need to estimate them smaller so we can always complete something every single day and have a good velocity of completing things instead of just going see they complete it on the weekend so which is not good so on the weekend they closed it and before that there was uh this week was pretty good but the first week nothing was completed that well. So this is a sprint reports, and in my case, it's even worse because I did not estimate that to start, and I just did it at the end. So I, uh, it went flat, 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 and then I put some story points in, and then I completed those tasks. So this is not good at all. Ideally, it should go as, as we see it here at least. So yeah, you can look at the burn down chart. You can look at, this is uh, some, some tool you can connect it it's called ops genie which will uh, alert you on certain things but i don't have it connected yet so that's why it's not here you might not have it at all and then you look at complete and non-complete issues and this is how you can see all the information about the sprint this is how to read the sprint report hope it helps if you have any questions let me know if the, you think that video brought you value please like and comment because it means a lot to me to know that 
I bring you value, guys. And um, that's it. That's it for now. Uh, please subscribe because we are releasing those videos almost every day now. So you can definitely benefit from it. Thank you for watching. Talk to the next one. Bye-bye.